Have you heard of right or left brain dominance? The term probably holds no significance right now, but let me explain its meaning. There are two hemispheres of your brain, right and left. The right brain is said to be more creative while the left is more systematic. Here is a diagram representing right and left brain dominance. Well, that's a little much, isn't it? I've got a better idea. There. That's much better. Now we can further explain right and left brain dominance. According to the theory of right and left brain dominance, the two different hemispheres of the brain control different types of thinking. This idea began with Roger W. Sperry, who stumbled upon it when studying patients who were diagnosed with epilepsy. Sperry realized that cutting the corpus callosum, the connecting point between the right and left sides of the brain, could help patients with epilepsy by reducing seizures. Sperry was correct. His split brain method helped patients with epilepsy. However, there was a side effect that was not predicted. After the communication pathway was cut, split-brain patients were unable to identify objects processed by the right side of the brain. However, they were able to name those processed by the left side of the brain. So, Sperry made a conclusion based on this. He decided that language was controlled by the left side of the brain. Questions arose. If language could be handled by one side of the brain, what were the distinctions between the right and left brains and what they controlled? Well, guidelines were drawn, and the functions of both the right and left sides of the brain were published. We'll take the sides of the brain one at a time, and explain their functions now. The left brain is largely involved with methodical, analytical thinking. There is more logic in the left brain. Problems are solved in strategic ways, and improvisation is probably not in the left brain vocabulary. Take a situation like this. You completely forgot that you have a major book report due tomorrow, and you are three quarters of the way through the book. You realize this in the morning of the day before the project is due. You have exactly 24 hours to get cracking. What is your plan of action? A left-brained person would take the day and plan it out. It would probably look something like this. While this level of planning may not be evident in all left-brained people, this is an exaggerated example. While right-brained people might improvise and do parts of the project out of order, which is not the wrong way to do it, left-brained people approach it systematically. Both the left and right-brained person could get the project done on time. The difference is in their approach to getting it done. Well, now that our scenario is complete, here are some last quick facts about the left brain. The left brain is also responsible for critical thinking, numbers, and reasoning. All right. I think it's time to move on to the right brain. So, let's take this one step at a time. If the left brain takes things logically, how does the right brain analyze situations? The right brain is concerned with a more creative side of things. Rather than planning and strategizing, right-brained people are more intuitive. Here's an example, have you heard of the phrase go with your gut? This refers to feeling a certain choice is correct, so to speak. Left brain people don't usually feel this. They analyze situations and make educated guesses. The right brain is also concerned with emotions and music. It has a more sensory approach to the world while the left brain has a verbal one. Here's another quick example of right brain dominance. Have you heard the expression the big picture? And what about the expression a whole is the sum of its parts? One is a right brain quote and one is a left brain quote. Can you figure out which is which? Here's the answer. I'm sure you figured it out. Right brained people take in the whole scene. They have a holistic approach. Left-brained people tend to break down elements into smaller parts in logical ways. That's right. Well, I suppose those are the basics about the right brain. Well, now that you're more knowledgeable about the two sides of the brain, you can look at this diagram with more insight. We'll give you a moment. It's important to note that the sides of the brain are not totally fixed. Sometimes a math problem can require both formulas and a creative spin to solve it correctly. 
Reading a piece of music for the first time requires left brain knowledge of notes and right brain feeling and emotion. So, if you think by now that you're leaning towards a certain half of the brain, make sure you know that both halves work together most of the time. Keep investigating brain patterns and keep learning. Until next time. Thank you.